slow living. That's what my YouTube feed starts suggesting lately. And I bite the hook. Yeah, that seems very chill and relaxed, my brain tells me. And I immediately start asking myself, how could I live this lifestyle? I definitely have to quit my job. Maybe I should buy this manual coffee maker they had in the video. Or maybe I should completely move into an old trailer. These are the typical thoughts I get when I watch these videos. And maybe you fall into thoughts like that as well. But is this a good and healthy way to respond to those videos? Is it healthy to wanting to change your whole life because of this input? Is it healthy to wanting to buy products just to get a certain feeling? Probably not. For me, content like that is a curse and a blessing at the same time. I get new ideas, new inspiration, new creative energy. But at the same time, I start seeing where my life isn't good enough. Enough. I always wondered how can I get these two different notions together in a healthy way and I think I found a solution here. The huge problem with all the content is we are told that we can only achieve a certain state by changing our life completely, by purchasing a certain product or a certain service and that's actually the fastest way to ruin our lives. Because due to hedonic adaptation, the feeling you get from a newly purchased product, from a changed lifestyle does not last very long. Just ask yourself, how long does it take you to get used and bored of your newly purchased iPhone 14 Pro? Probably less than two weeks. And I think in this digital age, this is very important to hear because regarding mental health and happiness in life, it's just not good to chase certain feelings to chase happiness only through purchasing products or going all in on a certain lifestyle. Because if you buy a product, you will see, you will get used to it very quickly. That's one point. And when you go all in on a certain lifestyle, first you will see that it's not that easy to create that lifestyle and that this lifestyle has its challenges and negative sides as well. So in my opinion, a much better and healthier way to look at content like that is to ask yourself how can I get this feeling created by the content but where I live and with what I have because if I'm completely being honest with myself I don't need to live in a cottage on the English countryside just to have a slow life I'm, I'm pretty sure with little intentional steps and daily habits I can I can choose this life as well even if my brain tells me when I watch the content go all in move to the English countryside and I think if we can get aware of the feelings created by such content we can turn this into our advantage because we can compare those feelings to everyday life and ask ourselves where do I get the same feeling which activities give me the same feeling which people give me the same feeling. And this helps us creating the feeling in our daily lives without purchasing products, without changing our complete lives. For me, just to finish this example, I get the same feeling of ease and calmness when I do analog things in the real world. Could be listening to records on my turntable, could be seeing our horses, it could be gardening and waiting for the results to show up. So I try to have some intentional, simple and slow living through exploring where I can get the same feeling as created in these videos without changing my whole life, without buying stuff. So be aware of the feeling certain content gives you. Try to look for the same feeling in your daily life. If you find it, extend it, do more of that stuff. And also be aware that there's times where you can't implement those habits, where you can't have that feeling. And don't blame yourself, that's totally normal. Life is a rhythm with ups and downs. Just don't lose track of them. With that said, thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. Peace.